I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm going to betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm going to be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you want to know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh, may I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that. I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow! Oh, oh, what the? Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're going to have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're going to have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then you'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to tell him anything. Ow. Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No. Hey, kid, everything's going to be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's going to be all right. Let's go this way. No. We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are going to pay. You should know better. You think I'd come here alone? <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I bought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop it. I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Rosso, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Rosso? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your... Yes. I promise, I'm always going to protect you. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Ruby Star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. But... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Hot yeah. options. Hi, Gary. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star's making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Nate. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, okay. And then this way we have our music room where the girls practice their- Caleb, don't listen to anything my mom tells you. She's lying. What is she talking about? 
Ignore her. I'm so sorry, my daughter. She is very troubled. No, I'm telling the truth. That girl isn't Denise. Look, stop! Let go of my- What the hell is going on? Just follow me, Caleb. No! This is the real Denise. Caleb? Hey, are, are you alright? No, she's very sick. Get away from her. No, the only one that's sick is you, Mom. You really could have hurt Denise. You took things way too far this time. Why, you insolent little girl. What has gotten into you? I guess I just realized that I don't want to be like you. I mean, we all know you only adopted Denise just so you could get her house. What? Oh, don't act surprised. You know I never liked you. Whoa, this is insanity. I can't believe you would do this to her. Don't worry, Denise. I'm gonna get you help. I'm calling the police. I'm really glad you're feeling better now. Yeah, thank you for helping me. But now that you see what I really look like, um, I understand if you don't want to be with me anymore. Are you kidding me? Denise, you're beautiful. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Can I be finished cleaning now? Hmm, I don't know. What do you think, babe? I think she should keep cleaning. I agree. Ugh. Ugh. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine. I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. What? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, Captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, <sighs> But that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the, the Pirate King had? Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father. Him and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape. Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William. Where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot, we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! <coughs> you stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. All of you are under arrest for trying to harm a royal. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, Your Majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes.
Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You must keep the bandage on until you turn 20. Talk to any cute princes tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princes will talk to me. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too? Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. Happy birthday! You can take your band-aid off! I know! I'm so nervous! I can't wait to see what prints I get! Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine, but you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise, I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam. Please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be a husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Your mom, she poisoned me with a sleeping potion. What? But somehow, the spell was broken. True love's kiss. Mom, how could you? I... You said you wanted to marry a prince. Oh, so you two were plotting together. Well, we couldn't let you marry that scum, now could we? See, the thing is, Daniel, I'd rather marry a guard than a selfish, cowardly prince. I was wrong, darling. Please forgive me. Then let me marry Sam. And maybe we can talk about forgiveness. Yes, Violet, you have my blessing. Well, then what about me? You? You wanted to have my finger removed. Oh, yes, I did say that. <laughs> did he really say that, Violet? You know, as the princess's guard, it's my job to protect her from harm. Oh, please, you don't scare me. <laughs> really? Because you look a little scared to me, Daniel. I suggest you run now. Yes, sir. I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time. Violet, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I always had a feeling you and I were soulmates, Violet. Sorry you didn't get your Prince Charming. It's okay. I got something better. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And yeah, tell Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. 
How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry. I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know where you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait. She made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid, Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you off to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well... Do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, what had happened to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now why don't you just fetch? No! Thank goodness it's not broken. 
No. <gasps> she locked me in here? Oh no, it looks like they're already reading their vows. I have to pick this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No! Anne? What? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. Hmm. Who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. bippity boppity boo Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. I'm the son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really, I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just, I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyways? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No! <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because... Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> it's called winning, mate. Hey, is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's all right, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey... You're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. 
A million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom says it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait. How do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just... I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my parties. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Hey, I think this clip is telling you the truth about people. You ready for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Babe, you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent. Because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over here. Uh... Hey, boss. Look who I found spying on us. No, I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sent you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. You know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or- Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. She was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because you can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. What? It's jammed! Okay, well do you drop your weapons now. Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill her. Now slide those weapons over to me. Alright, let's go. You're gonna regret this. When were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're gonna come looking for us soon. Take this cash, you're gonna run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? What happened? There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We, we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know. Now let's go. I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to. My boss knows my license plate. He could attract us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so... What's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Jack, I can't keep doing this, okay? We've been on the run all night. I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for all this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know, and I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise, I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. Jack. Looking for Jack? You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return... I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... She must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the? 
This thing just spoke to me. What it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to the... It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You make this clip tell us everything we want to know, or else we're gonna... Hey, that's enough. Did you just... No, don't worry. They were just trained darts. Now let's get you free. I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. So, um, what now? You have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not gonna turn you in, I... It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was gonna happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm gonna find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip, and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you, because I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is going to be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay. I I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. <laughs> You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh dear, okay honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. I can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my! You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... Wanna play mother, may I, for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother, and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But... Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill- Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. 
You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you are a foster kid and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No. You may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna- Save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait. I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait. I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't. Because I know you care about me. If you were going to kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. I'm sorry. I have to shut you off. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. You can? Yes. She's closer than you think. Your real mother is- Shut her off! Mother powering down. Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Surprise, I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real Mother. No. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the... Achoo! No! At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. <sighs> come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't want to come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you. How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now, get out. Ugh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey, babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Hey, babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, then where does he... I'm following him. What is he doing here? This place looks super sketchy. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come here. Hey, boss, look who I found snooping around here. Babe, what, what is going on? Babe, 
You know this girl? I've never seen her before in my life. I'm sorry, did our two years together just mean nothing to you? Two years? Have you been keeping secrets from me? I told you, you know what the rules are. He's trying to protect you by lying. He works for very dangerous men. You know what, my bad. Me. Oh no, he didn't. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey, mom, oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom... Uh-uh, get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna... May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but... There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to... Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and... Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom! There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both. Both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zach Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Whoa! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish, I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... So they found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Great work on your mission today. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Nice. Text message from John. He says, I miss you. Would you like to respond? Tell him I miss you too. Sent. Thinking about your boyfriend, huh? Yeah. How cute. You know Director Johnson doesn't approve. Look, I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way too overprotective. I mean, it's not like he's my dad. The man did practically raise you. I know, but my relationship is my business. <clears throat> Agent 22. 
Director Johnson wants to see you. Somebody's in trouble. Shut up. Sir, you wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity and has been using you for intel. No, no, he wouldn't do that, and you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know, but since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. I need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Babe? Hey. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. Oh, did you? What's the occasion? Does there need to be an occasion? No. No, of course not. Where's the drink? I'll pour it. Oh, no, baby. You just sit back and relax. I got this. At least let me cook us some dinner, sweetheart. No, thanks, baby. I'm not hungry. To us. To us. <clears throat> this has a uh, kind of a kick to it. Didn't notice. Uh-huh. So, how long have you been a spy? Excuse me? Cut the crap, Maya. My boss found out about your little investigation on me. All right. You caught me. My boss wants me to bring you in. That's funny. Mine asked me to do the same thing. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby, but that's not happening. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? So, how many words you get for the year? Only three again. Aw, oh, might as well use them up. Come on. I love you. And I love you more. Hi, what can I get you today? She doesn't have any words, miss, but I'll order for her. She's just gonna have a salad, but I'm gonna get a cheeseburger, double fries. Babe, you're looking kind of pale today. You wanna get your makeup done? Yeah, you do. Come on, let's go. I love this color on you. Me too. Hey, babe, show her the bruise. Any chance you can cover that? She's so clumsy. Oh, yeah, totally. We can take care of that. Sir, would you want to buy the concealer I use on her? Actually, yeah, that'd be great. I'll go pay for this. You stay here. I love this. He can't hear us anymore. Here, take some words. Please, you can trust me. Is something wrong? He can't hear you right now. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm going to need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm going to need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. Why is the makeup lady chasing after us? Sir! Let's get out of here. Well, that was weird. Did she at least cover up your bruise? Good. Good. Go change your hair to a different style. I'm going to go make dinner. You look much better now, babe. Breaking news as of today. What's going on? Let me turn this up. No, don't! Did you just... How the hell did you get words? So now you want to be quiet, huh? Answer me! How did you get them? You don't have any left now, do you? Give me that remote. You better hope this news isn't about you. So this girl comes into my makeup store with a bruise. I gave her some words and it turns out the man she was with... <laughs> you ratted me out? After everything that I've done for you. I have been so good to you. Now that's gonna change. Police, open the door. They finally found me. But they won't find you. You have been summoned. Whoa, what the? Where did you come from? Don't be afraid. I see you have found my lamp. Are you a genie? Yes, and you are my new master. Whatever you wish is my command. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, why, yes. Anything you wish for, I shall give you, master. You don't have to call me that. Well, then what shall I call you? Just call me Daniel. Okay, Daniel. What do you wish for first? I only get three wishes, right? Oh, no. You see, I am a special genie, and I have the gift of granting infinite wishes. This is incredible. But do be careful what you wish for, because... I wish for a hundred bucks. Whoa, holy sh... You really weren't kidding. We can't let anyone know about you. Why not? Because they could try to misuse your power, you know? Hey, Daniel, who is this? 
I'm his... Girlfriend. She's... She's my girlfriend. She is? She has infinite wishes. Get her. I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited... Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is. I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay. Come here. No way. I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice. Now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. <sighs> you know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst. Melanie. Grayson? What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson, just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Ooh. That's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. Wanna come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay. We dare you to kiss Peter. Oh! oh my God. It's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. She's so dumb. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Don't listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! hey. Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute, and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're gonna go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What? Yo, just one more kiss. She did it! I made it to 80%? Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, what? <laughs> no, I... Somebody's got a crush! Oh. Oh. Jason, shut up! Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. 
Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular. And if you come for her title, girl, she's going to come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. <laughs> no way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you... And the winner for prom queen goes to... Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney! First she becomes more popular than me and now she's prom queen? It's time for plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile yeah. at Cindy. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter... went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I... I lied, okay? What? Why would you... Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You can meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. Please, Lucas, go get my EpiPen. I can't breathe. Rebecca, tell my boys to let Peter go. It's done. Her throat is closing up. Let's get her some oxygen. Inject her with the antihistamine now. They said she's going to make it. I heard Rebecca and Lucas are going to prison. Can't believe she made it to 100%. This is so going in the yearbook. Hey, everybody out. She has to rest. Peter? Hey, Sid, you're awake. Where's my dad? He got stuck in a really bad traffic jam. He's on his way. I told him I'd wait here with you. Sid, you don't know how worried I was. Rebecca and Lucas are going to pay for what they did. I'm just so happy you're okay. Peter, look. Hey. <laughs> you know, I knew it was you. I found this on the ground. Thought I'd return it to you. You get some rest. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you your first paycheck right now. I got two of the kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <coughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <sighs>
It's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're going to work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just going to say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm going to find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah, I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. <laughs> oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, huh, you know, you got really nice... Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. <coughs> Shh, it's okay. <coughs> Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay? No, it's not going to be okay. I failed them. Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. I'm just going to let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not remove the outfit. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked... Early 2000s? <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Why is this not coming off? You may not remove the outfit. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked... Early 2000s.